gosh, what am I paying for? Day after day, the same crap. And day after day, all I wait for is to go back to bed. <sighs> I swear, if only somebody could see something aside from the scary, creepy feeling, the awful person, <sighs> the monster. If only the bastard was still alive, then maybe things would be different. Maybe I would be happier like I was <sighs> before she disappeared with that midnight. Before they left me alone. <sighs> what was that? Can even catch my breath before someone starts following me again. <sighs> so tiring. <sighs> I know you are following me. Even if you're behind me, I can feel your presence, whoever you are. I just want to let you know that I have weapons capable of killing in just one try. If you want to try and give away your shot, go on, but you will not be able to see the light of a new day. <laughs> and whoever you are, let me tell you. You are either extremely brave or <laughs> plain stupid. I can hear your breathing closer. Stop trying to play brave and go before I make you. Go on. Run now. Uh, you have been warned. Now, beware of a child. You are a simple child. What on earth? Hey, stop trying to get closer. Wait. Oh, where's my damn mask? Come on, wait. Does it have to disappear just now? Hey, listen to me carefully, child. You will remain there and close your eyes. You hear me? Yeah, cover them with your hands if you want. Done? Good. I will come closer now. Don't worry, don't get scared, okay? Oh, hey, what happened to you? You're covered in blood. Is it your own? Oh, I see. So, you are indeed injured. Where are your parents? It's not safe for a child this age to be wandering alone. Even less with such wounds. <sighs> don't tell me if you don't want to. No need to look so worked up. Uh, let me think. Oh, um, I know. Would you like to play the yes-no game? Nod your head if you're alright with it. Oh, excellent job, kid. Okay, let's see. Do you have someone I can call or contact? Mm, so no family, no friends. Alright, alright. Have you eaten? No. At least now I understand why you look so pale. I need to see this wound, so is it okay with you if I touch your leg? <sighs> Thank you. Oh, child, this cut is deep. We need to get you back to my house. Are you alright coming with me? Okay, I think it's better if I carry you. Can I do that? <sighs> Good. Alright. Up we go. <sighs> there. Oh, no, child. Don't go sleeping on me now. I can keep playing. Come on. Uh, child, tell me. Do you like dragons? Hey, hey, come on now. Oh, you do? Well, that's nice. I like them a lot too. Um, yeah, I do. Hey, hey. Don't close your eyes. You can do it. <sighs> Does better. It's those heroes again. Wow. 
so they dare to hurt a child like this, an innocent. I think you could open your eyes now, kid. It's a little bit too late for you to be still asleep. Come on. I haven't felt this way in such a long time. This feeling of rage towards someone. Of hopelessness. I feel like I need to protect you, kid. Like, you need me. Just as I need you. The heroes who did this to you. I know them. Jelly. I have the disgrace to know them a lot. Ah, bastards. Why do they call themselves heroes if they do such atrocious things? Oh, I can see now why you weren't up to talking. It's incredible how I, the most observant being in the world, simply ignore those things in your ears. Well, <laughs> at least now I can show off my skills from that two month sign language course. But for that, kid, I need you to wake up. To be honest, I don't know why. But you remind me of someone. <sighs> of course that can be. But still. Oh, look at those sleepy eyes. Slowly opening. <sighs> Hi there, Muffin. Oh, no, no. You shouldn't be trying to do that. You are pretty weak. Yeah, better be careful for now. I guess it's normal for you to be curious, but I enjoy being here in the dark. Do you remember something about what happened? Back home? Mm -hmm. You were attacked. Oh, wait. Your parents? Your parents were Midnight and Shadow? The villains? How, how old are you? <sighs> the year did disappear. If the maths are correct then... Oh, no. No, this cannot be happening. I thought they died long ago. So, they disappeared all those years because she was... Oh, she was expecting. And my friend... Killed by... Heroes. Child. Oh gosh. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so you were playing with your mom and dad when someone appeared. Oh, so they told you to hide in a closet. Okay, there were noises everywhere and it overwhelmed you. Uh huh, they, they found you. But you ran away. <sighs> okay. I will make them pay for what they've done. <sighs> Hurting her child. Killing my best friend. <sighs> oh, those bastards. They are the monsters. Oh, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Don't try to hide. I will not hurt you. I promise. I'm sorry for scaring you. Are you hungry? I can make you something. <laughs> it's not like I have much, but I guess um, you like mac and cheese? Oh, good. Then I will go and make some. You should rest while I... You know me? What do you mean, Marvin? Hmm? Your mommy used to tell you stories about me? Oh, I see. <laughs> I bet they were not that interesting. I never did anything story worthy, you know. Oh, no. I didn't save the world. Everyone says I'm the villain. 
and I think I play that pretty well. But I always save the ones I love, and I don't hurt people if they are not mean. Yeah, I guess. So, you are a pretty big fan of my work? <laughs> it's the first time someone compliments Black Raven. Oh, they feel so honored. I feel so honored. <laughs> mm. Why are you looking at me? <sighs> you should stop trying to sit up. Please. I don't want you to hurt yourself. <sighs> stop asking that from me. I mean it. You don't want to see why I'm sitting in this dark corner. I don't want to scare you. Please, stop. You can promise all you want, but, but I really don't want to scare you. You have been through a lot in the past couple of hours, and I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, why are the puppy dog guys so powerful? You totally inherited that power from your mother. As it would always get me into doing almost anything just by looking at her. Uh, Alright. Alright. You can stop now. But... I will only do it if you promise you really want to see it. Uh, well then. I guess there is... Not much I have to do, except to come closer. <sighs> I told you it was not a good sign. Should I have done this? I didn't mean to scare you or... What are you doing? Oh, no, no. It does not bother me. If you really want to, you can touch. <sighs> Your little hands are so warm. And soft. <laughs> Curious little muffin. Why are your eyes so shiny? <laughs> My scars are even cooler in real life. Your daddy used to talk about them man. You always imagine I look awesome? You really aren't scared of me, are you? <laughs> hey. I can carry you and sit you on my lap. <laughs> I can see how much you are struggling. Sure, come here. <sighs> there we go. How did I make that one? Oh, well, it was a pretty nasty fight with an awful hero. We were toe to toe when I get distracted and... BAM! New super cool scar crossing my eyes. That one I made it because I was fighting with Salom. He was the kitty of the house I used to live in. And we got into a fight. <laughs> yeah, you can only see it if you are super close. Oh, that one is my favorite story. Back when I was still a teen, I used to get into a lots of fights. This car, it's from my first victory. <laughs> a nasty hero was always bothering me and your parents. I hated him. The only thing I knew was that I was ready to fight when he appeared again. When even Shadow tried to talk sense into me. I didn't stop thinking about the fight at all. <laughs> yeah, quite a stubborn person, aren't I? So, we were out on the street at midnight when a hero appeared out of nowhere. He tried to capture your mother, but I was not gonna let that happen. So, I pushed him, and he fell. Hitting his head pretty hard. And then, I don't know how, but 
more heroes appear. Explosions everywhere, lots of fighting, and running. And then, <sighs> I went face to face with my art nemesis. I couldn't believe it. They look so interested in the story. This is indeed their child in life. They even use the same expressions. <sighs> but those eyes. Uh, those are like looking at shadow. They are such a perfect mix of you both. <laughs> okay, so it was my opportunity. I used my powers and then the fight started. We were so even. I was just thinking that maybe it was a bad idea after all. But then, I managed to give him a super punch right in the jaw. Not that you should do that. Fighting, just because you are a teen, is never the answer. Alright, Marvin? Okay, so, just when I thought everything was in control, he decided to start saying lots of bad things. Awful things. And I was getting weak because I didn't want to remember those memories. And he pushed me, saying that I was a bad person, a heartless villain. Oh, you think he was the villain and not me? <laughs> yeah, you are so right on that. You punch some sands into him, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. But he hurt me first, badly. And that's how I got the scars, all thanks to his clothes. But just then, instead of letting him win, I stood up. I finally felt like a villain. It was time for him to know who was the one in charge there. And I knew just the perfect thing to do. I tied him up to a lamppost, way up in it. <laughs> he was scared of heights. And I didn't let him down until he formally apologized to your parents for all the things he had been saying and doing. <laughs> I don't like the aftermatch though. I have never been more scolded than that day. My former superior, Shadow, Midnight, and then the nurse who cured me. Everyone was just talking and saying the same boring things. Mm, do I think your scars will look as cool as mine? Mm, I'm pretty sure about it. You will look so cool. Yeah, just like me. Oh, are you sleepy? Just a little? Well, alright. I have a question. If you don't mind. How did you knew who I was? Oh, my parents taught you how to find me if something bad happened. So... When you ran away, the first thing you did was try and find me? <laughs> well, you did pretty well. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I promise, no one will ever touch you again. You're my little treasure now. I'm here for you, Muffin. Rest easy now. <laughs> Close your eyes, mini midnight. I've got you. Fast asleep in my arms. Thank you, midnight, for trusting your treasure with me. It's a little hope in the middle of the storm that I needed. A little safer. I promise, for both of your memories, this little one is my child now. No one will ever dare 
to even try and touch a hair on their head. I will avenge you. <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. For now, <laughs> I think I'm trapped until they wake up. But I don't mind. Ah, this warmth. Oh, how I have missed it. I love you so much already, little muffin. Once you wake up, I will make you the best mac and cheese in the world. Ah, how could you? Could you just ignore all these letters? Uh, I cannot believe how my ego makes me do things I end up regretting. All the time. All the freaking time. November. Around seven years ago. And these letters is clearly announcing to me that I am. Uh, that I am. Uh, that I am the godfather to this kid. All these letters are full of pictures, of stories. Oh, I've never seen them happier. They invited me to their home so many times I cannot even count them. Ah, oh, stupid, stupid, I could have saved them and now it's too late and... Uh, I have an orphan child sleeping in my bed. My god child, to say the least. Uh, how could I? And why did they keep sending me letters when they knew I wasn't reading them? You always had faith in me, didn't you, friends? All because of that mess back in London. I thought that you just decided to abandon me. I listened to the director instead of listening to you. Uh, I will never forgive myself for this. And what? What do I do with them? I mean, they have midnight's blood inside. The academy could take them in. Oh no, that would be so wrong on my part. Right, then I will not report them. For now at least. We are safe here. Somebody is finally opening their eyes. Good morning, Muffin. Do you have a nice sleep? Ah, uh, I'm glad. Yeah, I had a really nice sleep too. Thanks. Would you like to eat something? Not yet? Are you sure? You haven't eaten much since last night. Alright, we'll try later then. Ah, uh, this is the most awkward conversation since William. And that's saying something. Do you use your aids all the time? Oh, so it depends on how much time you want to hear. Right now you are okay like this? Oh, got it. Oh, why was it so easy to speak to them last night? Ah, come on, right fine. Oh, I know. Hey, give me a minute. I will be right back, okay? Alright, this is my special box. I have lots of things here. Maybe we will find something to your liking? So this is Mr. Dinosaur. Wrong. <laughs> and this is his best friend, both T-Rex. And this napkin could be a snowy land. Yes, and here we have um, ah, a long neck dinosaur. His name is Louis. He can go here. Oh, be careful. He likes to bite onto pillows. Oh, don't worry. He's a friendly guy. Ready for who's coming next? This is... Giraffe. Miss, I think you got confused in the timeline. Well, you're right. Do you look like family? Why don't you put them besides Louis? Please? And this is... A baby dinosaur, who looks strangely familiar to Louis. Is it his kid? Oh, yeah, put them together then. 
That way the snow won't be so cold and they will warm each other. <sighs> what are they doing? Could it be that they unconsciously reveal their memory? Because this seems like the attack. Of course the dinosaur attack, but still. Oh, I found a Triceratops. Look. Okay, sure, here. Put it wherever you like. Now, this is their new family. Oh, alright. And what happened to the giraffe and the dino? Oh, bad people got them away. Muffin, are you... Hey, hey, it's okay. You can cry, yeah. It was not your fault. You know that, right? Those bad people, they will pay for what they did. Promise. Come here, I got you. I'm so sorry for not protecting you. Oh, for not protecting your mom and dad. Oh, for not being in your life. I hope one day you can forgive me. No, why am I crying too? Oh, because I feel sad. Because this shouldn't be happening to you. Muffin, you are so young. I knew so horrible things. Oh no, no darling. I'm sorry to tell you, but we cannot go home. It's dangerous. They could find you. Muffin, you need to listen to me. Yes, I know. I know you miss them. I know you want to go back. And that all your plushies and your toys are back there. Oh, you have a special one. A little bit. I see. Don't worry, he will be fine. I'm pretty sure he's not cold at all. Promise. I will find a way to bring him here. I just need to think of a super plan. Why do people die? Well, I don't have an answer for that one yet. It's unfair. I know. It hurts a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Muffin. They are gone. And I cannot bring them back. I don't have that power. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's alright, dear. It's alright. Just let it out. Your godfather got you. No. You have me and all my animal toys to care for you. Promise. Uh, there's a little smile. Can I change your bandage? I need to. I don't want your injuries to hurt more than they need to. Sure, you can ask whatever you want. Yeah, I met them when I was around your age. We were best friends. And we used to get into lots of trouble together. <laughs> My favorite animals are dinosaurs and marine animals. You? Oh, that's a good one. I think I have one of those in my box. Hey, pincers are dino band-aid for that cut. I also have these with jellyfish on them. Oh, such a good choice. There we go. Look how cute it looks. Alright, your injuries look good. Already healing. I think you will have some battle scars. But they will look cool. Promise. Yeah, you will look like me. And like your dad too. Right? The only one who magically didn't have any scars was your mom. I wonder how. 
Oh, you want to put a bandaid on me? All right. It's your turn to heal me. Here are the bandits. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we can be boo boo buddies. Nice. Uh, can I ask something? What's your favorite color? Oh, I like that one too. And do you like bugs? Oh, well, you are braver than me. I don't get along with beetles. Oh, really? Well, that's a fun fact. Interesting. So they got to meet the dinos. <laughs> oh, they are ancient. You are hungry now? Oh, I'm so glad. What will you like? I can make pancakes or waffles. Or we can go for cereal. Sure. And when I come back, maybe we can order some stuff for your new room. You know, cool bed seats, maybe some toys. Would you like something specific? Alright, we will see what we can do. I know you're not used to this place and that it will take time, but we will go step by step. And I will be here to help you. Always. Pinky swear. Muffin. I will be right back. You can play with the toys meanwhile. And please, don't let Louis eat that pillow. <laughs> I bet they're going to be so happy when I show them. I've never smelled such a clean bed in my life. The poor thing had to get five wasses to get squeaky clean. I thought midnight would be a great mom. A crocheting clothes for the stuffed animal. Oh, you've outdone yourself, friend. And it wasn't my fault that on my way back, that stupid hero got on the way. Uh, why do I always have to forget how hard it is to take this stain off the clothes? I should create a specific detergent for these stains. Maybe I could make a small business out of it. Uh, I should have cleaned this at the laundromat too. Of course, you had to think of that just now. Very clever, Raven. Oh, holy... Kid, what are you doing up? You almost gave me a heart attack. Ah, oh, jeez. And of course, they had to have on those things now. I'm just glad I managed to stop the word that was gonna come out of my mouth. Hmm? What is... What, Marvin? Oh, the stand on dessert. <laughs> yeah, it's a long story. A blood? No, no, of course not. Uh, uh, why would I have blood stains on my clothes? I just got thirsty and found some cranberry juice in the fridge, but as I was drinking it, I spilled it. <sighs> Don't worry, it will come off eventually. Yeah, that's why I got changed. But more important, what are you doing up? It's like 2 a.m. It's only not an hour for you to be awake, dear. Oh, sure, I can carry you. <sighs> there you go. Muffin, is everything alright? It's not usual for you to have your aids during the night. Uh, I can feel their heart with it. Their breathing is going so quickly. Hey, want to play a game? Alright, so... Let's make a practice question before we start. Tell me one thing you can hear. My voice? <laughs> Good one. Now, tell me a thing you can feel. Alright. And one thing you can see? <laughs> Good job, Muffin. And now, for the final. Tell me another thing you can see. Oh, you are right. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, you ready to tell me what happened? I'm all ears. So, you woke up and saw a bad ghost in front of you? 
Ah, uh, that must have been pretty scary. Did you turn on the light like we have practiced? Oh, so it was a stubborn one. Okay, so after trying to shoo her away, he finally gave up and decided to listen to what she wanted. Okay, and she warned you? About what, Marvin? Hmm? Bad things are about to happen? A change in our lives? We will meet our friends? Hmm, did she look like an old lady? Well, your father once met a ghost old lady. She gave him a warning too. I don't remember much. It happened when I was around 12. A long time ago. Oh, so she did look like an old lady. I see. Well, maybe she was just confused. And whatever changes come our way, we have each other. Remember? Yeah, I don't get the last part either. I don't have that many friends at the academy. Maybe you had a friend? Not many? Well, I think we should consult it with our pillows. Maybe they know something. Hey, Muffin, do you want to sleep with me tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sleepy either, but we could just lay there and talk. Oh, before I forget, I was fast asleep when something woke me up. Someone was knocking on my door. So, I got up, walked here, and briefly grabbed that umbrella over there. And with my weapon in hand, I opened... Oh, you're not gonna guess who was it. No, it wasn't there. Do you want to give another try? <laughs> Alright, I will tell you. But I need you to get down first. First, eyes closed. Please. Alright, no peeking. Ready? <laughs> Open them now. Ta-da! Look who found our address. Yeah, it's him. I told you he was going to be fine. And look, he even broke his little bag with his clothes. <laughs> I know. It's crazy how much Mr. Bad had to fly to get here. Hey, since none of us is sleepy, what about some tea? Let's give Mr. Bad the warmest of welcomes. What do you think? <laughs> All right then, get Mr. Bad in his pajamas while I prepare the tea. Oh sure, wait for me in my room with our finest teacups. <laughs> ah, how I wish I had a camera on hand so I could see that smile and those shiny eyes over and over. Ah, it feels so good to be looked at like that. No fear, no disgust. Pure joy. Ah, my kid muffin. I'm here. I brought the tea muffin. Your favorite with just a few drops of honey. I hope it is to your liking, Mr. Bat. Alright, here's yours. Okay, careful. It's a bit hot. Alright, I think we all have... Oh, right, I always forget. I have to take the teacup like this, right? My pinky up. <laughs> and now I can give my tea a sip. <sighs> Did I do it right? Yeah? <laughs> Alright, now I know how to take my tea properly. I had a really good teacher. So, now... Would you like me to tell you how I met your friend over there? Sure, you can take them off. Give them to me so I can put them on the nice stand. Ah, there we go. So, as I said, I was sleeping so peacefully. I was dreaming about dinos, 
and then I heard it. A knock on the door. I thought it was my imagination, but then I heard it again. Ah, uh, with bravery, I got out of my bed, and when I got to the laundry, I found an umbrella. The perfect weapon. Great, they're already falling asleep. So, I grabbed it and opened the door, and there was no one. Until I looked up, and he was there. He kindly asked if this was the correct address to your new house, and I confirmed. Then he got inside, and I checked for any injuries. Then I got thirsty, and the whole cranberry juice thing happened. He laughed, but tried to help me clean it. He said that when you were a baby, you used to spill things all the time, and he had learned how to clean stains pretty well. <laughs> So, I guess, they can finally occupy the bed we bought for them. And the little desk will fit them perfectly. <sighs> I'm sure the rest of the toys are gonna be so happy to have that. <sighs> Incredible how such a little thing has me wet around their finger. <sighs> and that old lady had to appear again. Just when things felt so perfect. If it is her again, the same one who told Shadow that prophecy, uh, the prophecy that came true, uh, but this time, I will not let it happen. They are mine to protect. I will not fail again. Uh, I should be better worry about the food. Are we eating dino pancakes or? Unicorn waffles in the morning. <sighs> You've changed Black Raven, but it's worth it. Ah, uh, so worth it. <sighs>